Hi guys, welcome to another video. Today's video is a quick get ready with me for work. Just using random products out of my stash and a notch out of palette that I rarely used or have tried and I wanted to give it a go today. So this is the look I was able to achieve. So if you want to see the products I use, what I think about these products, being my first time using them, then make sure you keep on watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye guys. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> so we're starting off today with uh, eyebrows, well the top of my eyebrows. I have no idea. I left this video in a regular time today because I wanted to. Why not? Some days I feel like speeding it up, some days I don't. Some days I want to be detailed, some days I don't. And this was one of those days that I wanted to be a little bit more detailed and sit down and talk to you guys. So I use my P. Louis, not P. Louise. I use my Makeup Revolution eyeshadow base in dark. I have dark and medium, but I find myself reaching for dark just a little bit more. And I also like to use this to clean up the bottom of my brow. I didn't. This day, I don't know, I think I used my Nude Fix, Nude Stick Concealer in Nude 8 to clean up my brows. But I normally love to use my Makeup Revolution eyeshadow base to clean up the bottom of my brows. So I'm just taking my Shop Miss A Concealer Brush to pat it out. And this was a Friday and I was getting ready for work and I had a little bit of extra time to, you know, since my son is out of school i don't have to like rush out the house in the morning so i have a little bit of extra time just to focus on me and my makeup <laughs> so i'm just taking my car beauty sponge and making sure i pat everything out so that everything is flat and my eyeshadow won't be lumpy or bumpy or any of that so i'm taking at forest sight a raw beauty christy and ColourPop collab i picked up this probably only like once maybe twice but i think once so i got the palette in front of me let me see what the name of the shade is it's called evergreen and it is a glitter shade and it's a glitter shade that has green brown a little i think like a little sprinkle of blue in it i originally was just gonna do a you know just a glitter shade nothing else but once i pop that glitter on as you can see i'm like oh no i need to do me a transition because i was just looking like a christmas ornament and i didn't want to look like that so it packed on really well as you can see it to me the color pop shimmer shades give just the right of pop to your look it's not too much it's not too little it just gives just the right amount of pizzazz so yeah i'm just using at first i started off with a fluffy brush which i always tend to pick up when i'm trying to put down like glitter shades because i find that my fluffy brush you know doesn't cause it to look heavy because you know how sometimes you could put glitter shades on and it looks heavy and your eyelids look way down. Or is that just me? <laughs> is that just me? Let me know now. Is that just me now? It may be just me because I know how I can do sometimes. So yeah. So now as you can see I picked up my Wet n Wild Flat Shader Brush. And I just used that to get the areas where I feel like the fluffy brush just couldn't get or I was afraid because I didn't want any fall out. I do not like fall out. I mean it doesn't it doesn't bother me. Yeah it bothers me. <laughs> I mean I don't mind fall out as long as it doesn't fall on my face I should say because I don't have time to clean up the glitter and then wipe it off and then reapply my primer or whatever. So whenever I'm using like glitter shades I try to remember to don't use my like primer or put on any makeup on my face until I've done I'm done with all that glitter so I took the shade homegrown and Rainier and one is a brown and one is like a deep orange shade so y'all know I'm gonna mix those two the shades together that's those are those colors are my favorite colors to mix together to get me a transition shade. It reminds me of Oktoberfest from Coastal Scents. If you know, then you know. If you remember the good old days and those were the good old days, that was my favorite transition color. That and 
uh, it was another one from Mac. Gosh, I am horrible with remembering stuff like that. But anyway, so I took that and just kind of like put that in my crease. It's as deep in my crease as I could. I was trying to go as deep in my crease as I could because like I said, I didn't want to look like a Christmas ornament, which is this pop of glitter on my lid and then no transition from there to here. So yeah, that's what I did. So I decided to wet my brush because in the mirror, I was getting the color. The color was there, you know, it was giving me color, but I'm like, okay, what if I wet it? Will that make it pop just a tad bit more? And as you can see, it did. So this is that's one of the reasons why I left this video in real time. Also, because I wanted y'all to see exactly, you know, how long it took me to do my makeup, which wasn't long. It was in under 30 minutes. When, whenever I have a little extra time, I take the time. You know, we as parents um, rarely get time to ourselves. It's mainly always focused on kids, 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 and more kids, and more kids. <laughs> so when you have a little extra time, take it for yourself. Don't say that, oh, I don't need no time. I don't, I, I could be doing this. I could be doing that. No, do something you enjoy doing. Take a little time for yourself. Breathe, regroup, and then go back to like, I'm letting your kids get on your nerves. <laughs> so today I took my e.l.f. primer, Cookies and Dream, paired with my YSL Blurring the Gold Bottle. And that's a mattifying one. So I mix those two. I'm never going to give up on this Cookies and Dream, y'all. I just pray that whenever I do run out, they either decide to come back out, bring it back out, or... I find something that's comparable to it because I have like six or seven in my collection. So it'll take me a while to go through all of that. But just know that when I do finally run out, I just don't know what I'm going to do. This has been my favorite primer ever since I've tried it. I think it came out, let's just say a year ago. And ever since a year ago, you have constantly consistently seeing this on my channel uh, some of my buddies here like it and some of my buddies like I had one buddy who didn't like it so she actually sent you know the ones that she purchased to me so yeah that's why I got some extra <laughs> that's why I got some extra so I took my art peachy matte paint pot art Thera Peachy. Use it on my smile lines and that little spot that I got on my face. So that's what I use today. And if I have any new subscribers or viewers here on my channel, I always prime I guess this is called Prime. I always set my smile lines because I don't like for any foundation to settle, crease, or crack in those areas throughout the day with me laughing or talking or doing whatever I'm doing. I don't like the foundation to settle there. And yes, I did get this uh, trick from Savannah, Savannah Silver here on YouTube years and years ago. And ever since she taught that trick, I have been doing it. I have no problem with my foundation or concealer, concealer settling in that area i don't know oh i took my um makeup revolution concealer and define concealer in orange to further correct some more and i'm and i like to use my finger to pat it in because my finger also warms it up and it makes it a little easier to apply. I swear, I need to go to the drugstore this weekend. I have several coupons that I probably can use at CVS. And I need to go to get some type of mascara. Uh, not a big fan or not a big, not, I'm not big on mascara. I just need it to coat my lashes because I know I'm going to put on falsies. So... I just need to pick up a mascara and I'm not sure because I haven't purchased one in so long. Like this one I'm using from Lancome it was like a sample that I got from Ulta for free. So I've been using that and it's only but so big. So I know it's almost out, like almost out. So for foundation, I use my Clinique, Clinique Even Better Serum Foundation in 116 Spice. And I used a half a pump of my yellow color corrector this foundation is neutral i can be 
like I've said before, I could be neutral, I could be golden, I could be olive. It depends on the year, it depends on the time. Most of the time, it depends on me and how I feel like I want to be. One day I want to be neutral, one day I want to be olive, the other day I want to be yellow, golden, and they all work for me. As long as I'm not red, orange, or that horrible whatever undertone that is i don't know and i don't know anyone that's that color but it's, it kind of gives gray gray green like i had a foundation i don't know which one it was but it was so the undertone was so green and i'm like who is green out here did they just make a mistake when making this foundation because i don't know any green people and i know a lot of different shades of people from very fair to very 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 dark and none of them are green i'm like who is green but anyway so i just applied it and then i'm just using my sponge to further blend it in this is a this is something another item that i have loved since i first tried it this foundation is amazing if you're looking for something very lightweight but gives you maximum coverage throughout the summertime that feels like nothing is on your skin but gives but still gives you that I did my makeup and I look good look <laughs> then pick up this foundation like this is I, I won't say I forgot about it I just have so many foundations that I need to work through in my collection and I can't like use one all week and then forget about the rest of them like I have to like put them in rotation now I use the even better concealer I picked these up a while ago because I love the foundation so much so why not get the concealer so I use the shade 114 which I thought was going to give me a highlight but as you can see it's more so my skin tone so you'll see me blend that out and then I'll go in with the shade 100 golden and 100 golden gave me the highlight that I needed you know you can easily like if you wanted to just pick up the concealer and spot conceal and just use that as a foundation you could easily do that with no problem you don't have to get the foundation so either the concealer or the foundation whichever you choose but i do suggest that you pick up one of those one of these by clinique clinique uh rarely gets the respect that it deserves i guess you know some it's not it's not expensive either but i guess like once a lot of people are on the bad bandwagon of one brand like all the other brands get kicked out the window it's like everybody want to purchase this 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 one item and it's like you'll be surprised if you go with the little guys i promise i'm always going to root for the little guys and hope they win drugstore i'm rooting for you little brands even though clinique is not a little little brand but it's a little compared to most of them you don't really and clinique is really known for their skincare like when i was younger and had acne like their skincare line uh it was the first thing I used to kind of like get my face back together in my younger years. So Clinique is really known for their uh, skincare. So I use my Huda Beauty, Huda, Nana, hey dog, Huda Beauty Tan Tour in medium brown. Yeah, you know. <laughs> I don't know how medium that is. It's a good thing I didn't get the real dark one because that medium was enough for me. So I'm just using the back of my sponge to give me a contour. I'd be so happy on the days that I can actually take time and do my makeup and just listen to music, listen to a podcast and not rush out the door. Like I don't have somebody asking me, can I make them some waffles? <laughs> Cause they are hungry or when somebody gets out of school I don't have somebody saying what's for dinner and it's only like five o'clock like could you give me time to make the dinner kids I don't think they ever leave I think they stay with you forever well do they stay forever <laughs> Because I'm not cooking forever. Like, it was at some point, they're just going to be grown and they'll be here, but they're going to have to cook for themselves because 
as long as my boys, as long as they're in school, then I don't rush them out the house. Like they don't have to get out and do on their own because they're in school. So as a parent, I feel like it's my responsibility or my job to make sure they get through school and pay for school and all of that. So once you go through school, but I swear, I think my oldest one, he's just going to, I mean, he going to go to graduate school and PhD and doctorate. I mean, he's going to take it as far as he can take it. He'll be here until he gets the very last degree that he can get. <laughs> so, <laughs> he'll be here. <laughs> oh, gosh. So, anyways, I'm taking my KVD loose setting powder to set my concealer I love uh, whenever my concealer is spot on like I have the right amount of brightness that I need I don't worry about like getting a banana powder or any of that I'll just use a translucent because I don't need to add any more color because my concealer has already done the job for me so I took the shade PNW and that was a dark uh did I take no, take it back. It's the shade Emerald City, and it's a green shade. So I just took a very small detail brush to smoke out my lower lash line, which sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. When I do it, it's usually like a color. I really like do black. I might do like a dark brown, but rarely black because I feel like black gives me raccoon eyes. I'm so afraid, even though I haven't experienced that knock on wood where my shadow or liner or whatever like waters or moves or it's just uh making me like a raccoon i used to have an older lady that i used to work with a long time ago and uh she used to have like mascara at the or liner at the top and bottom of her lashes this was like when i was younger so i wasn't into makeup yet but uh she used to have a raccoon eye her makeup gave her the raccoon eye but that was her style that was what she wanted that's what she was known for that was the look that she liked and I used to think that oh maybe it messed up maybe she was crying maybe something went on but the more and more I saw her her makeup was always the same her eyes were always the same so that just was the look that she loved she loved to have like dark eyes like that and i say makeup is what you make of it if you like it i love it like do what makes you happy if you like your makeup like that then wear it how you like it so i'm using both my blush from one size and my bronzer from one size and that's what i use today <laughs> by now y'all should know the name because these are the only two i have in my collection so i know my my loyal people on here know so i took the middle shade to further deepen my little transition that i had going on i wanted to really i wanted like a smoky glitter green smoky something i don't know i don't know i never know where i'm going with this but i go I do it and then at the end I'm just like keep going when you're doing your makeup and you're like oh this don't look right don't stop keep going keep playing with it keep tinkling with it I promise in the end you'll come around so I just had to take a clean brush and clean up any loose ends <laughs> any loose ends I might have had anything that was looking like it was out of shape not in shape all over the place now I had to clean it up with like a clean brush and now I'm th I thought I did blush already or I'm taking more blush oh okay then so I'm taking my blush and I'm taking the matte shade because in this Patrick Star palette they have a glitter shade they have a A cream shade and then they have the matte shade I always use the matte shade I have really used the other ones because y'all know I'm not a highlight person I don't too much highlight so I'm using my Mac studio fix press powder in NW 48 with a this is a really good brush I gotta look at the name and I'll tell you all what it is one day but first I gotta watch it wash it first but this is a good fluffy brush 
I like this brush. I like it. And if you see, I usually like powder my face or do my lips or do something while I'm waiting for my eyelash glue to get tacky. I think that if you're having problems with your eyelashes, the problem is it's probably not tacky enough. Like you need to wait just a little longer so it gets tacky and sticks for you with no ease. So I learned that that's my, that was my issue. I wanted to put the glue on it and put it on immediately. And I found that if I wait just a little longer, not necessarily blowing or fanning it, if I just wait, then I'll be okay. I'll be okay. So I'm taking, okay. This is my new favorite lip combo. I got like uh, got like several new lip combo guys, and I got it. I'm I'm gonna do a dedicated video of my favorite lip combos so far. So I'm taking my Mac Chestnut and lining my lips like who? Oh. Yeah, I know I'm gonna pull out that chestnut. If I ever not have chestnut in my collection, I probably will cry. I'll probably ask for donations for somebody to get me a chestnut if I can never, if I never had it in my collection. I wouldn't make it. Mm -mm. I know I got a million different browns. And this is Big T. It's a Morphe Lip Plumper Gloss. It's not a liquid lip. It's a gloss. So I'm taking that and I'm just going over chestnut. So I put the MAC lip liner down first, and then I use Big T from Morphe, the lip gloss, to go over the liner. Okay, I gotta see what I put in the middle, because I know I put something in the middle. Me and Brown, me and Brown, we're never gonna depart from one another. We're always gonna be together, me and Brown, anything. So I took my e.l.f. plumping lip gloss in Peach Bellini, and I just popped a little bit in the center y'all this lip combo to me is a life it's everything it's everything i ever dreamed of and i don't know what made me sit down and try this one day i was just playing in makeup and i said hey let me try this and yeah i tried it and i love it and you all will be seeing this lip combo <laughs> in upcoming videos because I'm obsessed now. I'm going to spray my face with my MAC, not MAC. I got to clean up the, y'all know I get lip, uh, lip pencil everywhere. I can never stay in the line. But I'll spray with my NYX Bear With Me spray. And then I'm going to come back and talk to y'all in the outro while my microphone is still on. Okay, guys, I'm back. This is the completed look. Just something simple, quick. I say simple, quick, but just me playing in my makeup. Those are the type of videos I do if you're new to my channel. Sometimes I review some new releases that come out, but most of the time, probably like 80% of the time, it's just me using products that I have in my stash because I need to use this stuff. I paid for it, and I need to get my money's worth out of it. I, that was probably my second time playing with the ColourPop palette. And you know, ColourPop is always having a sale. I'm not sure if they still have this like on their website, but uh, that's probably was my second time playing with it. And I finally found the first time, didn't care for it, not so much. But this time right here, I like that. Uh, it's kind of like a green with different mixtures of glitter in it. Yeah, really enjoyed that. The foundation, my Clinique Even Better Serum Foundation. This is a neutral. This is 116 Spice. Yeah, 116 Spice, and it's a neutral. So some days, I can either be neutral or golden. And when I want to be golden with the neutral foundation I have, then I'll just add a drop of my LA Girl Yellow Color Corrector. But the neutral works for me also. But some days, I want to be golden. Some days, I want to be neutral. That's just me. Don't ask me why. But yeah, this is the completed eye look and face look. I think everything came together nicely. And today is Friday. I am so happy today is Friday. You would think I'm one of those people that always ready for the weekend, ready for the weekend. Like I got something to do. I don't got nothing to do. I'm just ready for the weekend. <laughs> so if you enjoyed today's video, please make sure you share, like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.